way to do this. I'm just gonna kill myself until I get a game over, so I start with all of my lives back because I don't I don't trust myself for the final boss, so I just wasted two lives anyway. I might as well waste one or two more just to get the game over and come back with five lives or so, however many it gives you. I have zero lives. Alright, and I'll oop, there you go. I'd much rather come back with five lives, which I assume is what they give you, or three than two. I guess it's... Okay, there we go. It is five. How the fuck do I get over there, then? There must be an easy way to get over there. Let me see. Can I, oh, wait. I can just jump on, like, this thing, and then jump on that, and then fucking right there, and ultimate victory. I'm happy with my decision, though. I turned a fuck up into something that will probably benefit me, so... A deadly dance! Are you ready for me to have really shitty rhythm? Are you guys... Oh, there she is. Mm, I could feel that Koopa vibe coming. Most distastefully bad juju. Yeah, well, you give me the creeps too, lady. Cooking up an army of ghosts isn't a very neighborly pastime. <laughs> oh, Sly. I see your mouth moving, but all I hear is blah, blah, blah. Well, if jaws need to flap, then let them flap. See you in the next world, Slack Hooper. Her voice is like really odd to me. I can't really explain it. It just feels like her voice doesn't fit her character. I don't know like how to peg it. I know they were trying to go for that like... I don't know, Haitian, Louisiana, voodoo, like, you know, that type thing. But it just... Like, that voice would fit if they had a different voice actor. And usually I'm not one to complain about random voices too much. And I thought I died right there. Alright. Come back here. You can't run away forever. Quite true. Quite true. Why don't I have my servant Chumley escort you over here? Alright. What's the catch? Oh, not much. Just a little game I like to play with all my annoying guests. I want to see how well you pay attention. What do you mean? Well, I'll unleash my mighty mojo magic upon you. If you repeat what I do, you'll dodge it just fine. If not, You'll get zapped! <laughs> a little voodoo Simon says, huh? Sounds easy enough. Like, I don't know why she would tell him the plan, and I don't know why he would agree to it. Alright. Yeah, it's like, I don't know. It's just really weird. It's like, I just don't know when to he actually hit the fucking button. That's usually what fucks me over. This whole thing just reminds me of Parappa the Rapper. That whole game, which I never really played much. I only really played the demo of it. Let's see. I do have one horseshoe to, to lose, though. And like I said, the game is actually pretty generous in the fact that if you keep dying, it will keep giving you more horseshoes to... Fuck. Oh, that's great. Whatever. I already lost that. Like I said, I wasn't going to have an easy time on this boss. Like, as easy as I would think that I would have on this boss... It just doesn't work that way. So let's see. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. It's just, I don't know. I'm just not very familiar. I kind of go like off of a rock band type thing. Alright. Jump. Ah! There we go. Okay. Usually I can do a little bit better than that. I also didn't take into account that it was going to be harder to do that. Alright. And then we have to start all the way at the beginning. But for your convenience, I will be editing some of this out if I do continue to fuck up so badly. And I don't think I have a horseshoe anymore. I'm not even gonna look because it's like... No, I don't have a horseshoe. But yes, uh, you can trust that I will edit this out if it does become too much. So if I die like one or two more times, then just fuck it. No one wants to see this over and over again while I fuck up and continue to do shitty. Ugh. Okay, and X. Come here, bitch. Ho -ho! There you go. So yes, I will have mercy on you in that regard. 
because this boss, out of any of the bosses, would probably be the lamest one to see over and over again. Just because it's just rhythm type shit. I don't like it. Especially when this whole spiel comes about. God damn it, and then. It's like I hit it too fucking early. Forget it. I'll just do it myself, because I hate this boss. And I don't know how many times it's gonna take. So, for your enjoyment, please join me when I get to the end of the stupid boss. Or at least to a new area. Alright, so this is a new enough area, so let's see if uh, I can make anything out of this after dying a couple more times, which, uh, you were spared. Thankfully. Alright. Outstanding. And doo -doo -doo. there you go. But, uh, I... Okay, now it's, like, slow. Ugh, there you go. Just dodge that. Dodge. Re. Yes. All right. We're getting there. We're getting there. It's like... Uh, it, oh, there you go. And... do do. Yep. Am I here? Oh, shit. Yep. Fuck you, bitch. All right. Moving along. This will be the last one if I can do it. Which I am not exactly strong of faith. And now it's like fucking quick shit. See, she's throwing them all quick. It's like, hip, 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 hip. there you go. And, oh shit, she's doing a lot of. Oh, fuck. God damn it, Sly, learn to dodge. Dodge better. Oh shit, oh shit. Oh, hip, hip, stupid fucking triangles. Alright. This makes me hate shapes. I hate geometry. You know, not only did I hate math, I also hated geometry, which was, you know, just like a different version. A fucking math. Oh fuck. Okay. At least I'm pretty sure this is the uh, the last part. <laughs> Just let me win. Why? Oh fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh yes. I got it. All right. You certainly got some rhythm, raccoon. But it won't help you none if you're fixing to go after the panda king. He's tough, with a capital T. If you go poking around his stronghold in China, you're likely to get poked back. Yeah, well, if he's anything like the rest of you, I think I'll manage. Outstanding. Ms. Ruby's section of the Thievius Raccoonus held notes for my pioneering ancestor, Slight in Common. His invisibility technique allowed him to steal from corrupt pharaohs and greedy noblemen. Right on schedule, Inspector Fox's arrival cued my exit. The production of Zombies, made illegal in the World Peace Accord of 71, earned Ms. Ruby a life sentence behind bars. I like the headline. While the gang and I enjoyed a few weeks in the tropical sunshine, working on our tans in preparation for our next caper. Which is in China, apparently. So, there will be some death and bobs edited out of that, Travel which is really done. Travel plans to China have all been worked out. They've been worked out, so let's go to China. I always wanted to go to China. I'm sure it'll be just like the real thing. And leaving Paris to the China. The road trip gave me the time I needed to study up on the Panda King. Born penniless, he was fascinated by the fireworks rich noblemen set off every New Year's. He spent a decade learning the art. But when he tried to offer his fireworks to the noblemen, they couldn't see past his shabby clothes and chased him away. That poor guy. Humiliated, the Panda King took revenge on those who shunned him by using the very tools of his art for crime. The Fetish Five recruited him as their demolitions expert, and from then on, his explosive touch became feared worldwide. He's rumored to be perfecting some new firework technique high in the unstable Kunlun Mountains of western China. Sly Cooper in! Dun dun dun! A fiery panda. Or wait, no. Fire in the sky! Yay, this uh, I actually like this boss for the reason that his pattern is incredibly easy to figure out. This is probably the easiest boss in the game, in my opinion. For me, at least. I would say that, uh, oh shit, this guy's got like a fucking stick or something. I would say that most people would probably say that Ruby was the easiest, but unfortunately, I really suck at figuring out her pattern, and 
not so much the pattern, but just the rhythm. Like, I'm not good at figuring out the rhythm of that for some reason. And it's, it's really weird. Because I'm pretty good at rhythm games for the most part. And this guy's just fucking sending monkeys that somehow collect snow as they go down this hill, which isn't snowy at all. So fuck you, giant Apu. Or Apu. Pretty sure the monkey's name was Abu. Would you look at that? A fireworks show! Oh, would you look at that? An avalanche! Asshole. Oh my gosh, that's awful! That poor village just got buried in freezing snow! The rocket came from that giant statue. And you can bet the Panda King lit the fuse. I've got to find my way up there and fast before that lunatic squashes another town. Yes, let's not go and see if everyone in the town is okay, because they're surely dead. Let's go and stop him first. You know, I'm sure there's a couple people we could rescue in that town, but nope, nah, whatever. We got more important things to do. I mean, stopping him is pretty important, but I would say saving some women and children would be pretty important as well. Maybe I'm alone on that. Maybe maybe that's just me. I need some more tokens here. Let me get some more of these. Can't wait till I play Sly 2 eventually. Can I, like, fuck this bridge up? Or... Alright. Eh! Forgot how to even... Oh, yeah. You have to be in dark and then you hit circle. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to play Sly 2 where the tokens actually have some sort of use instead of just getting ran- oh fuck, I forgot icicles. Instead of just getting the random, uh, you know, second chance tokens. Who the fuck am I at? Oh, okay. I don't know, like, what- okay. I actually have some use. I don't know what the full use is, I just know that there's a shop, I really didn't get much into it. I made it to episode 3 without really doing much in the shop. And I'm sure some people will have some uh, pro tips on what to buy and what would make things much easier. I just never really delved into it. I was having too much fun with the game. I actually really liked the, the changes that they had. What the fuck?